Hello everyone, welcome to another video. On this video, I'm gonna talk about the uh, React router and I'm gonna also show you, show you guys how the uh, React router works and also how the React router nested works. So let's begin. So here is my React application is running and I created this React application using a CLI. Here is a CLI, how it's going to create. You guys can follow this to create a React applications. And this is my file. So here I have an app.html and this is all my index.html here, which is okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna remove the class which is coming from here So I'm gonna remove this class as well. So I'll put a test here. So test is working fine So I also installed the uh, react router DOM already if you guys don't know how to install then npm install You're going to npm install and react router DOM already here it is All right, you can copy or I install dash dash save or anything you guys can install this and after you installing this then what I I'm going to do is I'm going to create now here the react router so to create a react router the first thing is I'm going to create here the router it's called a router and this router is supposed to be a come from the a browser router because we are using the uh, web version here so this is a browser router as a router so I have to import this from react router DOM all right so this is going to come from react router dom which is okay and it doesn't complain now okay okay so if i go in console nothing else which is okay fine so on this one the first thing what i'm going to create is a nav bar so i'm going to create a nav bar here and the nav bar doesn't know what is it so i'm going to create a new folder here called components and under the folder I'm going to create a navbar.js. So navbar.js is basically a component. It's going to be so React function uh, export uh, here. I'm using the uh, extension here called React uh, Redux GraphQL, this one, the simple extension. So I can use this kind of sh shortcuts to generate the uh, template here. So this is going to be my nav bar and I'm gonna import the nav bar here. So it shows me already. So it's gonna reload and show me a nav bar. So in the nav bar, I'm gonna create a couple of the, couple of the, uh, the UL and ally tag. And this is going to be all the link this is going to be a link and on this link the first thing is going to be home copy this paste it here the second thing is going to be a C O U R S E course all right the second thing is going to be a course and this is home and course which is okay so now in a home what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a add a link here and link is basically a uh, similar like a a a tref so where it's supposed to go is a blank right and in the second one i'm going to tell them to go to my course so see with the course all right so link is not defined so i need to import the link and link is import from react router dom so this is okay so if i click it here nothing will show up if i click it here course will show up but nothing will happen all right it's just a nav here so once the nav is loaded so now we have to let them the react know what it's supposed to do so to do that i i will create a switch here so switch is basically the similarly like a programming switch like a if and else so if it is if the route is right exact exact or not exact sorry guys e x e, i can spell it exact okay Today I can spell exact as well. That's funny. Okay, guys. So when the route is exact match with this, then show me home. That's it. If the route is exact match with what course? No, no, I don't need to exact match with course. Just match with course. Then show me course because I want. I need to create a dynamic course here. So okay. So we don't know what is the route. So I need to import the route. So route import. If I click it home, home. If I click it course, course, which is exactly fine, which is what we need here. So now we need to create a nested one. To create a nested one, what we're gonna do is inside the course, we're gonna create a couple of the course here, like programming or networking, or like that. All right. So what happened is if it's going to be home, then it's just show me this one. 
which is fine we can create a component here as well but we don't want to create a component there that's fine so here we will create a new component called course and it doesn't know what is the course so it's going to complain so i'm going to create a course.js and basically i'll copy the nav i'll put it here change the name c-o-u-r-s-e so once i change this name the, the function and this which is fine and i'm putting here the course all right well, the spelling is wrong it's fine the course and the course is not defined here because it doesn't know so okay bring it from there okay it bring it so if i click a course it shows me a course which is okay so on this course what i need is i need again the ally and ui exactly the same one i just go back so here what i need the first thing is a programming p-r-o-g-r-a-m-m-i pro programming and another one is net working okay so this is going to be a slash programming and this is going to be a slash networking net working okay so what happened now this is the one so if i if i go home show me home if i click this will show me a two of this if i click programming it goes to programming if i click in networking it goes to networking but we don't want that we want something like nested if i click in programming it's supposed to go to course slash programming so to do that we need to use some one of the function and that function will provide me a path and url has a property and that function is called use router match and it's also coming from router dom and if I use this URL here and I need to also concatenate this to to my URL and on this URL I have to use this programming I'll just use this like this and now it's going to, going to complain yep we don't want to complain here so I'll copy this I'll put it here again the same one but instead of this I'll just change to networking okay so now if i click it here it goes to course programming if i click it here it goes to course underscore networking so but we want to render something here when it's supposed to go there and to do that we need to we need to tell the react that okay what is supposed to do when you click it there right so we will create a something called switch which is inside of this function and in a switch we will exactly we will do a same one a route and here route we don't want to do exact match because we want to create a dynamic so we'll just use a path we have to use a path here and this path is also going to be a dynamic generated path and in the first one the path here is going to be uh, coming from the uh, path which we provided here right which we get here so this path so we have to use here this one column and it path is matched with the course then we will tell them to go to the c-o-u-r-c course item i haven't created a course item i need to import the route i have to create a course item i'll create a new course item js i'm going to create a navbar i'll copy this navbar put it here change the name to course item course c-o-u-r-s -E, course item and i don't want this here and this basically this is going to be a course item okay so once i have this now i have to tell them where is import from it's import from course item right here so once i have this so now if i click in networking it shows me course item if i click in programming also it shows me course item but we want to see this dynamic but if we want to use this as a dynamic we need to use one of the function here and that is function called use params and in this params we will get the our params here so in this param i can print the params here so if i click on programming uh is it is it a params there let me okay this params is going to be really dynamic what we provided here so basically we provided here the course so we need to get this as a course here so once we have a course here so it shows me networking if i click in programming it shows me programming if i now is this is going to be really nested but if i click in home it goes show me home if i click in course it shows me two of the course but if i click on programming it just show me a programming if i click in networking it just show me a networking so this is perfectly working guys so this is how we can create a nested one this is little uh kind of little uh 
tricky not even tricky but uh, once you get used to it it's it's pretty simple uh, but i will also put this code in on github uh, to download it and if you guys like my videos and please uh, do not forget to uh, like or subscribe i will put more technology videos on my channel and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now